from yellow, but nobody's there. Again, playing it quite safely as Forza, and now they're going to make that push happen. Alright, there's a jet pushing away from Guild, but there's the first kill! Down. Go the way of Guild! It's going to help them out here as the attacker is kind of slowing things down at fours, and they're really unable to find the opening just yet. Yeah. Guild now just holding it down again. They're playing it so passively, and it's working out for them so far. They've done a bunch of damage, got that first pick, and they can back up, make sure that nobody gets it on site. Obviously, with, without the sage, it's much more difficult to plant. Bunkar, he's going to make it a 5v3, and looks like Forza, they're going to have to head all the way back. Unfortunately, that, that pushes... 30 seconds left. First of all, the Viper couldn't really zone anybody out. The rotations were very effective from the defense, and now we're just looking at Guild taking... Oh, look at this Viper Dragon. He's looking to do work. Uh, right round the corner and he turns around and finds his first head. Looking for his second, but the Flash will just about catch him until he gets to. Is there for two more picks. The Aftershock to try and push him out of position. And you've seen he doesn't find another one. So Sugetsu now on three heads tapped. Gets the plant down, but Bunkar's there to stop him in their tracks. It's a 3k for Bunkar and they'll take... And all the Uto is going to be launched up. Just trying to poke and prod and see what is on the other side here for a kill. They're pushed back for a bit, but it's the conga line for fours, and there's nobody around. They're just checking, and at least they have some control, but it's a one-to-one -one trade. Uh, trade's coming out. Zeddy, he'll find two. The help will so get to, but you've seen he's big with the ghost. He'll take another pick, and it makes it a 2v3. That's already two casualties on the side of fours on their buy round. Not ideal whatsoever, but they've got the spike down now, and they're looking to close it out. Safe comes around the corner with the Spectre, though, takes another pick, making it a 2v2. The lineups are available now for the rest of the four's side, but half has already been taken down by Safe. He turns around the corner, he'll find the head of Artist, and Yassine closes it out. Even though he's detained, he will be able to get that defuse right afterwards. That was a big commitment. I got to say, yeah. hello? Is he going to be... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. Hey. The turret is going to find out those left. players no. pushing towards A, and it means that safe can Long rotate over. Although that fault line is going to stun him up, make sure he doesn't go for the swing just yet. The snake bite to try and push out any players from heaven. But safe is going to turn around the corner now with the help of the rolling thunder. He'll find one pick. And he's looking for another one. The rest of the players, they're all on low health. So he gets to, he'll find one headshot. The Bunkar's there onto coffee, left. and now there's only 10 seconds left in the round. Safe sprays down, hooky up, and turning around the corner. Bunker's gonna one find one remaining. and two from Safe. It's a full house of picks for Guild, and they fast. And on the other side, fours, it is extremely slow. But Zeddy, look at that instantly to the head. You see, it's definitely once again. Only one player towards A, but with the Vipers pit out, that's gonna discourage the rest of the fours side from pushing through, and there's a lull in the energy in the middle of the round. So it's starting to become a very common sight here, a safe in a one-on-one -on -one trade. Oh, the drop oh, from Coffee! No. Oh, Bunkar collects the kill. It's a 3v3 at least, but Leo cuts off the rotation through the kitchen and gets a bit of info on Hagen. He flashes out, but it's basically just to survive. Well, just Huggy um, and so we get to left. 30 seconds left. Heading over towards B now, remaining. but Bonkar is right there. He'll Five find one. Down, so we get to is nowhere near for the trade, so it's just a 1v3 now. Players on all sides set in this difficult situation, having to pick up the spike and get that down. I but got the spike. Might be able to at least get the spike plant. It doesn't quite see Leo through the gap there, but there's only 10 seconds left in the round. And oh, much as Guild are, they seem to be quite comfortable with it. As you said, they have played it once or twice before. They do know what they're doing with it. Fours just need to find that first round. This time they're playing with the Sheriffs and they're going to push him through A. Uh, it's great to have this uh, upper position for safe. You can really spot people here, but no, Zeddy wins out the gunfight. That's a direct headshot opening up the site if they can deal with Leo actually now doubling up and tripling on site. Guild instantly pulling in for the defense. The aftershock is going to do a little bit of damage here, you see, and he turns around the corner straight into the snake bite. That's massive again for Fours. They've got two picks now in this save round. And although Guild, they have a lot of money, it's going to take a bit of a blow to them. Bunkar, he pushes in to the top there, but the Viper's pit, that's keeping him well away from anybody. But they'll find one on the hoodie on the floor. Turning around the corner, Coffee will just spray him down with the help of Artist. It's only two players left on the Guild side now, and they have to retake this against so much utility. A lot of players are low on Fours, but... It's taking down that many bodies in this situation that's the difficult part they play it slow and they're just going to wait for any closing picks i think i don't know if there's much to do here go for next try here and there and oh back up. Nice. two kills that leo gets that's at least something but the rifles will be picked up by planting in a position that's a lot more vulnerable and out comes the rolling thunder from the fourth side to get in towards sight 
They are going to take it for free, but Draken somehow, he's found a snake by kill onto Zeddy. He'll find a second one onto Artis with the Vandal. Coffee eventually is there with the trade, but you're seeing he has his ult out. Coffee will find that pick, but there's trades going every which way, and it's only Leo left alive for Gil. He still do some work. He's got intel that he can work with here. There it is. He doesn't know where the second player is. So he's got to be very careful about this. Gets one, Leo and a Hagian. Oh, oh, behind yellow, this can go so, so downhill for fours, Twiggy. Oh, he gets oh, him! Leo Let's go! Oh, oh, what a shot. So, tell me what you got. There's coffee with the first stash up, and nobody's found on the other no side of it. Just yet. Oh, Hunter's Fury, though, will come out. As, oh my god, they push in well towards Kitchen there. The Rolling Thunder you saw was committed from Bunkar there as well. He will find one pick. He turns back around the corner, but Coffee's there to find safe. And so Getz will take down Bunkar. Coffee's clean with the headshot onto Leo with the Blade Storm. There's only two players left on the guild side. One towards mid, one on B. All by his lonesome here. Drake and looking just for one pick before they get his blood down. The spray through the edge of the box. Zeddy will find that one. Maybe that's those box changes you've seen. is left with the judge now. Just gotta look for one or two picks, maybe, but stuck in the nano swarm, he has to get out of there straight in. Yeah, pretty far close aggressive here. Even though he only has a sheriff in hand, he can use the Walter's advantage for just a bit. He's actually gonna keep on going, checking every single corner. And at the, in the meantime, he'll have rotated to A, so they're ready to go, Draken! That is an awesome shot on the Sugetsu, and that's really gonna slow things in for Fords. Only took one and. Well, the Bolt Line is going to come out to try and keep them out of B, uh, A as well. They do use that lockdown here, and that's not going to be pushed out by the Fuzz players. So Drake can come from behind and a clean one tap onto the back of Artist Ted, and it's putting so much more pressure on them. Yasin comes through with the Guardian, finds one, the aftershock to push Coffee back into the corner. There's only two players left, and there's only 12 seconds left on the timer. Bonkar with the <laughs> frenzy takes another pick. Coffee finds that trade, but it's all about the fault line that'll hit most of them. You Just discourage them from pushing in once again. Out comes the lockdown. The Hunter's Fury in trade is going to try and get rid of that. Safe will find one through the wall onto Zeddy and the spray from Bonkar will put another few players down onto low HP. Artist finds the head of Safe. But now it's back to that 3v4. And Draken, he takes it down to a 3v3 onto Artist. Leo turning around the corner onto Coffee. There's only two players left on the Forza side and 30 seconds left. They have to get this spike down, but the push from Guild is going to keep them from doing that. Draken turns around the corner, but Pugion will find that pick. He's down to low HP, though. Last player it's standing. both players on low HP. The Guild players turn around. They're getting a good position here. The Rolling Thunder is going to come out from Fours, but Safe, he's in the corner. He'll find one, two, and three onto Soigetsu. And it's a beautiful opening now for Guild into this last round of the half. You've seen and Leo, they'll clean it up, and it's a flawless round to finish off the half. Should be a simple retake for them, but, well, Guild, they need to get the spike down before anything can happen. Draken, he's already watching behind. He might be ready to take this one down. Coffee, though, finds the head of Leo. They're already aware of this flank happening. Draken comes in with the first pick, and Maybe a couple more as, I mean, the whole guild team is trying to push out these players and it's ring around the Rosies as forced. Now they have control of the A site in turn. Wait, have this swapped sides? Because they weren't doing so well in the first half. I'm not really sure what was going on. 20 HP, the dink, and the finisher for Zeddy on the bomb car. But it's a 2v2, and yes, he will get one for his own. Artist is last alive, and is he can actually go for a very great flank here down a mid. Safe is ready for it. B and get himself into a nice position to stave off this retake here from Artis. Let's see how he plays this one. He's going to actually head straight forward. He won't find the shot. They're quite happy with these eight pushes. Not quite the same as the fourth side who are heading in towards mid for that four-man flank. One player trying to hold down CT here, but Leo, he's ready for this flank, and there's also a turret there. He'll find out one, and I think he's seen about three there. He'll spray down Huggion, Suigetsu, and Coffee through the wall, and Artist is the one to stop that from happening. But there's only two players left on the fourth side now, and they've only taken down one player. Here comes Artist to try and clean up the rest. The headshot onto Yasin is going to drive him well away. It's not enough to get the pick. Safe and Bunkar, they'll finish it out, and it's now 11 rounds for Guild. Up four, and... Again, is checking, making sure this is the perfect moment for Gil to tr start pushing in. They know that oh. they have manpower advantage, and Yasin just taking the time. He gets one, and they keep on pushing the smokes. So he gets it. A great spot. Yeah. Oh, so Getsu takes up the location where his friend died, and he'll take one pick onto Yasin. 
He'll have to back up though straight into the snake bite and there's so much utility being used by Gilke to push him out of position. He won't find another head trying to side strafe around that Leo and Drake and they're going to take down Sagetsu and Zeddy and now it's just Coffee left with the Operator. Uh, in CT here, it's like a game of Clue. He's coming around, and he won't find the legs of- Very well done. And this is where you buy up all that you've got, and you can see for fours, they don't have much to work. You know, the only way for them to buy up a rifle is to go for light shield. That's the only artist that you can do it. Well, Zeddy looking for first contact. He comes around the corner, but you've seen he'll find the pick before getting stunned up. The flash is going to keep back the four's players, and Leo finds another onto Huggy on now. They can get in towards site, get that spike down. It's already a 5v3 in this match point. The lockdown is available here for fours, but they need to use it quickly if they want to get anything done, and the players are still rotating round from B. They're showing off. And it does not well, well, maybe four. Well, 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 oh, Ag here's so oh. good, so... And alts are being used. Uh, all forced back between the two alts that are used. And at least the lockdown here might be the perfect thing for Sugetsu. This is how these walls just end up working well for the Killjoy in this case. It's one kill each. And Coffee oh, on a smokes have already gone through with the Astra, of course. The preparation that has come down with the Nebulas. And it seems like the push might happen. But no, it's split and they're going to A. Oh. Well, stuck between a rock and a hard place, Artis chose to push forward and try his luck on site, but Yassine is there with the quick headshot to make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Meanwhile, the rest of the players, they're going to head over towards B, try and get that spike down, but it looks like Gil, they're ready for this one. Oh, Zeddy has caught Draken in the astral form there, and he'll take him out. As Bunker tries to move into B with the help of his friends, Yassine will get taken down immediately by Sugetsu. Coffee. Oh my god, Leo with a one tap onto two players. So get to and Huggy on the down now, and there's only two players left on the force aside. Guild, they're trying to push him out of position, but that's an immediate start as Coffee, he moves around the back. Zeddy trying to just play for time, moving all the way around here. 12 HP left on Coffee. Zeddy will be taken down, and it's Bongar who's going to get half of the defuse. Turning around the corner, Coffee can't play oh. the first shot, and Leo comes to the at the very least. Oh, good timing there, and the gravity wall really pushing people back. Coffee taking a bit of damage, but he heals up quick. Oh, unable to use the explosive pack. Force will be forced for just a bit. Yeah, just enough for them to get that and down. You can see the guild players just making sure no no flanks are coming through from the Forza players. And now that they've cleared both C and A, they can head over towards B as a pack. Bongar, he'll come in first onto Zeddy, but in the meantime, Coffee's found Leo. Safe comes through, round the corner onto Huggion with that spray through the wall, and we'll find him. It's down to a 3v3 now. They try and push the players out, but the sprays through the smokes are going to find a lot of players here, so get to with the first. And it's just two guild players left trying to hold this down. Coffee in the corner will take down Bonkar, and it's just Draken left who has to try and get all of this control back towards himself. And the lineups are coming out, the snake bites from window. I'm just going to keep him well away from there, and it looks like he's going to be losing this Phantom Falling Thunder to try and keep him away. That's going to gain some time for Guild, and now with only 17 seconds left, it looks like Fours are going to head over towards A. The spray from Leo and Yassine, they'll find three for themselves. There's only left. 10 seconds left, and Huggion needs to try and save this Operator. It's just Coffee left over towards that B to try and standing. clean up any kills he can, but Safe is there with the headshot, and that'll be the round. Huggion manages to save him from getting pushed out, and out comes the Cosmic Divide as well from Fours to give them some space to work with. Don't come in my room, I'm, I'm playing going. Valorant. Uh, well, I'll come the, uh, wow, they're using everything. The Seekers come out as well, they're just going to be destroyed immediately after turning around the corner. Well, Guild now just waiting for the Cosmic Divide to dissipate. So what they can do with this one, you see with oh. a quick boost up and going for the showstopper, can he get one around the corner? Oh, yes he can! Read. Very well done on Artist, and another one for Yassine for the 3k! <laughs> Goes in for the retake. Really well done. There's one alternative, isn't there, Twiggy? <laughs> there is, absolutely. Well, they follow the leader in, and Zeddy just gets domed through the smoke by Leo. So maybe the alternative didn't quite work out for them. The Aftershock is going to push Coffee back as well. Now they've lost a player, and for what? Absolutely nothing. No map control whatsoever. The Trailblazer goes you through. They put down the wall. They're going to make it happen either way. Out comes the Resurrection, but the Paint Grenade, that's going to find Coffee pretty Ooh. easily. Not quite. Oh, let's go. Still alive and backed into the corner. They do find one pick for themselves as well. It's down to a 5v4 and not in the direction we were seeing earlier. The Bomb Buddy will go through, and that's going to push Coffee well out of position, but look at that.
Bolt Line is going to do a lot of damage, but Artist is coming through from Garage there. He'll find one pick onto Leo, and now they have C open for themselves as well. He'll find another onto Yasin, and they can move through in this 5v2. Make the plant happen. Draken's in the corner. He'll find one and two. Looking for the third, so he gets who will clean it up. It's just Bunkar left in this 1v3, and Zeddy comes through. In that case, I think he would. I like the fact that there was a spike very well open. So there, I don't think it quite reached him before it ran out of juice, as it were. Sky it's juice, sky. but safe. He'll come around the corner with the first pick onto Artis. Maybe that Cypher isn't the best pick, but he can still gunplay with... Very well done. Second flash as well. As they go for the slow and the wall, I trying to play. open up. Oh, the boom bot! Who gets it, Leo? Oh, that was so good from Yasin! Oh, another oh. one for him! Oh my, that was so... Okay. It happens. Can't really oh let it go. The showstopper's God. out, and... Oh. <laughs> gets him! How does he Dude, no. Somehow, all the utility that was being used is not enough to stop your scene from coming in. Just all the way in. Coffee will find Drake in there, but it's, uh, well, one pick out of a lot of utility used. And somehow, Drake is still alive. Artist finds Leo. They get in towards site now, but out comes the Viper's Pit. That's a good choice to get them as much positional advantage as possible. They don't want to give away anything in this round whatsoever, but Yassine's in the middle of it. He comes around the corner. Artis is quick with the headshot to keep him away, and there's only two players left on the guild side. Bonkar is right here. He'll find the head of Artis. Down goes the Viper's Pit. Maybe a little bit of over-aggression, but it doesn't matter because the rest of the team are heading towards A. Indeed. Or our own cosmic divine. You're thinking, you know what? Maybe we should just not do anything about this, but... The old are pretty comfortable with where they are. They're going to be waiting around, and Saif has already collected a bit of information with his own He's going to go through the wall, and he's going to give away his position for just a bit. Revealing in. Ready? Oh. Going in. Oh. Jack oh. through that into hell, but he's now oh, no. Get on, move instantly tagged by Zeddy. And the round looks bleak. One down. Uh -huh. Well, Saif, he's brought one back. He's got that first kill, and he knows the rest of the players. They're over towards hell. Got that call out from his teammate, but there's not much time left. All he can get is exit, so he gets to. He's actually going to find out that there are three players over towards A. Maybe just let them in towards C here. Drake, and again, is at back of sight. They haven't found him out just yet. He'll spray down one, and he'll find Zeddy somehow, even though they all know his position. The Hawk is going to flash him up, and Huggyon will find the pick in the end, but he's done a lot of damage and made it that 4v4 just about in Guild's run. favor. They need to get the spike down. And there goes the lockdown to, uh, oh, it's going to fake them out of there. They're going to get out, and the Rolling Thunder has been committed now to get them in towards site. Bunkar, with the aggression, is actually going to find out that they're not planting. But Spike the picks down. coming through from Yasin on the flank is going to make left. it down to a 3v2. They're actually going to head back towards C. And Yasin, he's, oh, sorry, he is right around the corner waiting for that. Yasin has done so much work. I mean, I, I was talking about last round where... Going for that aggressive dose stopper is not the biggest uh, aids. Here, just moving around. Only the worst, watching oh. the blank and the... Obviously, that uh, toxic effect goes away. Back up to 63 HP. Well, maybe not quite what you'd want, but it's a... Uh... A life at the very least, and Fors the, the onus is still on them to push in. The spray from Leo won't actually find too much uh, of any hit whatsoever on Zeddy, and so gets who finds ahead of your scene that we've given them full control of B. Zeddy, nobody is there to get that pick, and Safe comes around from the back. This might actually come up massive as they re push in towards B, but he sprays through the smoke, giving away his position, and Huggyon now knows exactly where he is, so he can't actually push any further in. And Huggyon finds ahead as well. This round has gone completely in Paul's favor. They've even committed an actual fucking device for this one here. So it's economically speaking for Guild and a Hunter's Fury. There's nothing to be found on the other side. It's been nice knowing you. Artist Fire away! For this last pick. Here we go. Can he find one more? There we go. That's, a, that's the Viking send off we want. Ah, uh, laying on the ground. That'll be it. There's the trial on B. And are they able to stop? Oh, be able to. Oh, not time. Well, then he still gets one. But his refrag's all over. Artist coming around. He gets tagged away immediately by Leo. So he gets it with the last. Right round the corner. Will they actually go for this? Look, he's coming in. But he doesn't find the flick. But he does find the head of Artist. Zeddy is there with the trip. The pick, so he gets to. He's right inside the smoke. And he comes around the corner. They're all flashed up. The safe will find the head. Maybe a bit of luck, but mostly a bit of skill as he finds that one Draken. He'll find Coffee. And the spray down from Leo finds the head of Draken as well. Blazer right into the Aldrone. 
jumps at the Owl Drone, and that's actually going to stun up the Owl Drone, which is oh, kind of great, actually. Can't get it any further. Out comes a lot of utility onto Zeddy, going to take him down to 73 HP. But the stuns, in turn, is actually going to find safe, and Yasin is also stunned up in the corner. Leah will find coffee, but Hugion has already found Yasin at this point. It's a 3v4. Zeddy's quick with a headshot onto Leo, and it's me. Oh. And they're, they're gonna go through sewers onto A, they have a Viper to deal with. That's a lot of dedication to come in from the Astra with it and still nothing to be found I'll through that charges. Cosmic Divide. Not a fun time in I'm not gonna lie there. There's one, there's two. Easy two kills of this round. Look, safe, he's trying to spray down Zeddy, but that's massive. There it is. The Gravity Well as well as the Nano Swarm will get that pick. Leo turning around the corner, a quick headshot onto Zeddy, and safe sprays down, so gets to through the wall. Now there's only three players left on the fourth side, and it's all gone in the favor of Guild. They still have two ults left, and there's one. The Neural Fet is going to find out where all three of those players are. The Hawk in towards Garage, but there's nobody left in there as they're trying to get control of mid. Huggy on with the Operator will find... But he's stunned all the way back. He's gonna go up to heaven and see what he can pull through there. Zeph's low on HP and is covering through graffiti oh, with yellow. Of course, the player's back there. Well done. So, big commitment here to come out from the bridge and Bonkar. Found them. Can he spot anybody? Yes, he can. It's gonna force Huggy back. Decision has been made. Guild fall back. One no, they're going forward and Bonkar is gonna get two for four. One for his own and Leo. And the last one to even it out towards mid and garage trying to make entryways into C and B. Artist already down to low HP and they know where he is, but you've seen it's getting sprayed down from logs there. He'll find one head though, and the heel has gone out towards Artist, so he'll find the head of Yasin before being put down to 25 XP himself. Bonkar, he has that bulldog and he'll find the pick onto Artist, but it's only two players left on their side. The Trailblazer is gonna find out where they are, not quite. Bunkar has to now push forward and give himself some space so that his teammate can plant. All three players are in one position. If they push through at the same time, they can spray him down. A shot from Hageon is just going to go off to his left. The Hawk, that's going to flash him up, so they have to push in and find that kill. And Hageon through the box will find the head of Drake. And it's a uh, dis over here looking for that pick, trying to keep control of that position. You don't want to give up too much control when you've just taken it. So they get the spike down over towards B, which is going to cause the rest of the players to rotate round. You can see Safe has actually moved up that position. They'll come from a flank in a second here, but Leo, in the meantime, he's finding head. Zed, he'll get the trade, but it's over in a 4v4 now. And you can see coming in from behind, but you see finds one head. Zeddy with another Safe and Bonkar. They'll clean it up. And oh, I see this one. That is an interesting position. Where is he going to try and... Pack. Oh, it's ready for the lockdown. I can see that now. He's looking for that default lockdown position. And he's going to try and break it with one blast pack. That'll be an interesting one. And it does look like fours. They're going to be ready to use that. In comes to get to. Let's see. Nope. Not going to. Not going to put down the lockdown. So. Oh, there it is. It's in a different position. We're putting up in heaven. That means the hunter's fury is going to need to be used instead. And they'll break that pretty quickly. Very nice. Setting in the meantime. What is that from Bonkar? He finds two with the hunter's fury after breaking that lockdown. Safe finds to get to and finishes it off on Huggy on as well. And they've made it twin by the box area. So. It's unfortunate. But we'll see. B it looks pretty open here though. Can they find the opener? The turret's down and the sprain from Zeddy. He's gonna find one and scores back. Oh my. Artist and the rest of the force repositioning every single time. Flashes are out, smokes out as well. And there it is. Artist collects one, collects two as well. Zed's gonna get one for himself in the second one, but so he gets to swings wide to take a date. Let's get back into it. And it looks like fours are just getting aggressive. B as always. Twiggy, what is this? It's like they're kind of predictable. Absolutely. Well, I mean, they've made it happen, though, once again. The aggression is working for them. They found one pick, well, two picks, before the trade came through, which means that it's 4v3. Guild, again, it's not too difficult. They've, they've done this before, but the, the, the aggressive push from them clear out of full sight of players, and Draken has found the first on to Huggy on making it a 3v3. Now, Artist is caught in the corner, and the rest of the players are moving in from A-Link. Snake bite isn't gonna keep away Drake and he pushes through aggressively, finds artist. Coffee in the meantime has found you seen, but the spray down the wall. Bonkar is gonna find that second one, and it's just so he gets to at the back of the site to defend everything by himself. He'll find one head on Bonkar there, and it's Draken who has to clutch it up. He'll find the head, get his third, get the defuse, and there's the point. So now an OT match point guild have the chance to lock it out 2-0 in total after winning our first map very effectively i might add on icebox so
Looking for the wide play through a long. It's going to be able to push Huggin back for just a moment here as he goes oh, so they're looking the other way. Huggin is taken oh. down, but Yassine in a great position here. To oh. play. One and two! Guild in great control with two left here at fours. The Killjoy and the Viper. And Artist oh. Solo, he's going to take the full brunt oh. of the grenade with Yassine. Showstopper is available now for Yassine with the 3k. He's just waiting for Sugetsu to show himself. The wall is already down over there. Ooh, that could have actually got him if he was a little.